the Bleacher Report article on your former team. Yeah. Uh, although for you, I'm sure once a Packer, always a Packer. Yes. Uh, you were very um, vocal immediately. I know you yeah. you uh, you FaceTimed in on NFL Total Access mm -hmm. the day that the piece came out, uh, saying, "Well, I don't want to say defending because that means that um, you wouldn't defend others in this mm -hmm. uh, scenario." What did you make of the piece that had Aaron Rodgers and the coach at such loggerheads and so many accusations flying back and forth about? Who was to blame for the situation there that led to McCarthy's uh, man, the departure? The reason why I, the reason why I came on so fast is because I I just I thought it was ridiculous. And like I like I said on the show, the guy I know, Aaron Rodgers, and I was getting texts from everybody like, "Where was I at when all this was going on? When mm -hmm. all these players coming out saying this about Aaron and this about like, where was I at? Because I didn't see that. Like Aaron wasn't that type of teammate to me, and. When I listen to these players talk, the first thing I think about is the locker room code. If I got a problem with Rich, I'm not going to go on Total Access and say, man, I got a problem with Rich. I'm going to talk to Rich in the back and tell Rich. Or I'm going to call Rich and I'm going to tell Rich, man, look, this is the problem we have. So I felt like, number one, Jermichael, Greg Jennings, if you got a problem with Aaron Rodgers, man, call him. Don't put it all in the media saying this stuff, that stuff. Because you know nine times out of ten, Aaron Rodgers is not going to come out in the media and defend himself. You know, he's just going to let it brush over like whatever. I'm not really paying attention to that. And for those guys to come out and say the things they said about Aaron, I mean, it, it hurt because when they were in the locker room, it wasn't like that. Like Greg Jennings and Aaron Rodgers had a very good relationship in the locker room. Same as your Michael Finley and Aaron Rodgers, you know. And then you leave and you say these things uh, about Aaron Rodgers and the organization and all that. And then – I mean, like, I to me, Greg is my guy. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm the godfather to his daughter. He he is my man. But right now, and he knows I will tell him this. I think he's he was he was sensitive. He was sensitive because you know maybe Aaron Rodgers didn't come out and say, "Man, we want to keep Greg Jennings and all that." When uh, he was in his free when he was agency. coming for a free agent, I don't I don't know why exactly he's he's. Uh, Sensitive. Maybe when we were on the field and Aaron Rodgers said, oh, man, uh, you come get him. Yeah, if was, you really know Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers is a comedian in the locker room. 24-7, all he does is joke. So if you know Aaron and you and Aaron are out here killing every team we play, like you, your stats are out of the water, you think he really wants to let you go? I, I think Greg was – I think he was really sensitive – and I think it it hurt him the comments that he said, but still, man, you don't you don't turn around and say that about your brother. Well, so again, you're referring to the Carlos Rogers in, uh, yeah. scenario in the piece where he's playing for the Niners yeah. and with Jennings balling yeah. out. He he says, "Why don't you come get yeah. him next year?" Because it's Jennings yeah. was having an issue getting a long term contract at the yeah. time. And if G know Aaron, he Packers. knows all jokes. Well, he does kind of know him though, so that's that's the that's, <laughs> that's kind of the head scratch. Like, look, with your Michael Finley, I, I knew oh, yeah, I was sort of a uh, a foregone conclusion yeah. that he does not like Aaron Rodgers, yeah. and he will I he will. I don't. I mean, all the things twelve has done for him, I don't even see how you could come out and even talk bad about a guy like that. I mean, this is a guy that you know, team meeting over, everybody going to sleep. I'm coming into your room, making sure you know these plays, making sure you know the assignments. Uh, you know, you get hurt. I'm the first one at the hospital. You know, him and him and him and uh, Jermichael Finley in practice. He always helping J. Mike. Always was there for J. Mike. So I don't know where these comments are coming from. J. Mike saying Aaron's such a bad teammate and things like that. Because from what I've seen, I mean, J. Mike should have been like me, the one coming out having Aaron's back. All the stuff he's done for him. Well, and and it's Jennings. I didn't realize the the how deep the animus was yeah. for him towards Rodgers. He said that he has called Aaron when mm -hmm. he's tried to. Yeah. And what has he told you, if whatever you can share? To be personally? honest with you, when I talk to Greg, I don't even talk to Greg about the, about the situation. I, I, I've never sat down and been like, Greg, man, why are you and Aaron? You know, I, I haven't even talked to him about the situation. But me knowing Greg, right. and me knowing Greg ex extremely well, I just feel like, and like if he was sitting right here right now, I would tell him, man, stop being sensitive, man. Well, like, <laughs> well, what about the idea? Because he did when he was on the show. He even said to me when he was sitting in that yeah. chair that that Rogers would change plays because he did mm -hmm. not agree with what was coming out yeah. of Mike McCarthy's headset. Yeah. Is that is that 
Does that ring true to you? So this, certainly so, so, what happened this last so, season. So this, this, this is it. So Coach Mike came in there his second year and said, the ball, he's a team meet, the ball is in the quarterback's hands. He can get and change into any play he wants to get into. And we all sat in that meeting like, thank God, like, man, Aaron could get to any play, change any play. Like, this is, this is going to be good. And that's when we really took off with the no huddle offense. Now, it's some plays that will come in. And we'll be strong right 324 Denver's, one of our favorite third down plays. Mm -hmm. Aaron will hear the San Francisco 49ers over there. Hey, watch Denver, watch the slants. That's the play. We're not going to run that. Right. You know? So as a smart quarterback and as Coach Mike putting the ball in his hands, all right, let's 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 get out of this play. So why does it come out that with the spin that Rodgers is being mutinous and and McCarthy is being clueless? Why does it? Why is that spin out there? <laughs> Best you can tell me, James. To be honest with you, I think when you get like a lot of the new guys that come in mm -hmm. and they may see it for the first time of Aaron change a play and they hear it through through uh, his headset that this is the play and Aaron changes the play. Made they may be coming from Jacksonville. They may be coming from places where this is not allowed. So now you're looking at it and you're like, oh my goodness, he's changing the play. Well, he has the ability to change the plays and. Every time him and Mike came in and had a team meeting and it, we were watching film of him changing plays and all that, it was nothing said. It was nothing said. Now, in means with him and Mike alone, I don't know, but it was nothing said. It was maybe you could have got to this or maybe you should have did that or maybe you could have left it on and it might have worked, but it would never was like an argument of stop call changing the plays and it, it never was none of that. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.